Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I'm down in City Mines Barracks today with the Xeno Mini Pro. There's another new firmware. It is a flight control and it's version 1.5.2, I believe. So it optimizes the flight control. Drone's already booted up, ready to go. And we will enter the Hubson X2 app. The X Hubson 2, I should say. Enter the drone interface, app interface. Okay. We have 12 satellites. And sorry, guys, if the audio seems a little loud, I was just playing with the decibel on it to try and minimize it a little. So I. I understand every time I go out and film that my voice seems kind of high on this. Okay, so 13 satellites, let's take off. You sure to take off? Yes. Seems a little different, there's a few different little things in the app now. And uh, I find that uh, everything is very, the sky is always very pink when you can't see that with the naked eye. So, okay, let's go into camera options here. Let's put it on video. Actually, before I put it on video, let's go in the, in the camera and let's make sure that 48 megapixel is on. I'm gonna turn night mode off because it's still pretty bright out. We'll leave HDR off. Uh, yeah, that should be about it. I'm not going to format the drive because I still have a video or so on there that I need to get off of there. So, okay, we're in the video and let's start recording. There you go, guys. And we're going to bring this drone back and do a little droney and see how... Wow, it's... Uh... It's kind of a mind of its own drifting there. So we're gonna see if this thing flies straight back or if it dog legs. So reversing up. It's really dog legging, okay? It, it really wanted to take off to the side. Let's bring it over this way. Let's try that again, guys. I could have been slightly pushing to the left on the stick here, so try it again but it seems like the drone wants to come down a bit now reversing up that's a little better not too bad not too bad but I can say it really seems like Hubson is uh, messing up this app with these uh, firmware updates You guys can see how dark everything is. Let's um, let's just go in the options here. We can't. Okay, we have to stop recording. I've got my buddy Mike here with me. He's flying the Phantom Four. So we're in the options. Okay, if I turn the camera on manual, it kind of brightens it up. But I don't want to go manual. So let's see the white balance here. Let's, there we go. We'll bring the white balance down to 5,000. It was on 8,000. 8, so we will start recording again. Okay, and let's take it up the beach. So it's saying that it's roughly, what'd you say, Mike? 20 mile an hour winds, 40 mile an hour gusts. But it's, it's really not that strong, guys. It's nowhere near that by the feel of it. But it is a lot windier here along the coastline. Up at my home, there's barely any breeze. But once you get along these coasts, it's, it's a killer. So let's see if we have trouble coming back to me. You can see someone's burning over there. 
I've only got this drone in normal mode, I believe. And it's flying against the wind right now. Yeah, it's coming back. So not too bad, but as I was saying guys, it seems like Hubson is really screwing these firmwares up each time they send a new one out. Um, I can say that I don't think I will purchase another Hubson drone as it cost me quite a bit of money for this one and you know, it just, it's not right the way everything is set up in it. Yeah, we're back to me anyway. I'm gonna head down the beach, so it's a lot easier to get back to me. Let's gain some altitude. Somebody camping up on the hill up there. I don't know if they're camping, but there's a, there's a van there. That's probably what they're doing. Last time I was down here, somebody was camping over there. Yeah, get that high wind warning. Let's pick the camera up a little. So the only thing I really like about this drone is it flies really well. But as I say, the, it seems that they really mess the auto up on this camera now. And you can see what I had to do to make it look decent. If I leave it Leave it set to auto, everything looks much too pink. So down here, I'm right above me. Where are you at, Mike? Okay. He's up by the barracks. So we know how to get rid of the uh, pink in the sky, guys. Just adjust your white balance, put it on manual. Adjust that white balance down to at least halfway. You can see it looks pretty decent right now. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, there's still a bit of pink in the sky and with the naked eye, you can't see that. There's no pink in that horizon. But it does look pretty cool on the camera here. And it's been a while since I've had this Hubson out for a flight. So let's just cruise it around a bit here. gonna take it back up that end guys uh, wind directions blowing in my face so it's much easier to get it back to me if something does happen here I'm only 57 meters high high winds please fly with caution it's giving me a strong wind warning get it back to me and we'll end this flight I've got a couple of more drones here I have to drain the batteries down I've been having terrible weather here lately certainly not great weather to fly in okay I'm uh, I'm pretty close to me now so I'm gonna leave it up there and get a thumbnail pick, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's little firmware flight. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and peace out, catch you in the next one.